Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top. Today we're going to be opening up our third box of M21 booster packs. And why exactly are we doing such a weird excursion? Well, I'll tell you why, my good friend. It's because in our last two booster box, we managed to get our Teferi, our Liliana, but we did not get our Ugin. And that is the one card that we're going to do. And that's the one challenge that I have for myself so that we can get to this. How many booster packs does it take before we can get to Ugin? That is the question. Okay. Hopefully not too many. All right. Heroic intervention. Darn. Oh, and we got a foil right off the bat. All right. Second booster pack. At this point, you guys are all bored silly of all the commons and commons. Everyone already knows what's going on. Garrick's Uprising, Soulseer, and Conspicuous Snoop. We're going to run through all of these. Okay. Carrion Grub, Jeskai Elder, Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest, and our rare is Double Vision. That's awfully strange. Strange because we need to grab our first mythic before long. Okay, let's see what we get here. Heartfire Emulator. Lead on his devotee. Warden in the Woods and our rare is... Another Teferi Master of Time. And this is with the showcase art. Wow. Wow. First mythic and Zoray Teferi. Already, that makes this box amazing. Okay, Vladimir, Mir, Pestilent Haze, Leafkin Avenger, and Rathnal Heart of Killed. What do we got next? What do we got next? Traitorous Greed, okay. Malphi Side, Battle Rattle Shaman, and our rare card is Primal Might. Oh, and a Foil Shock, along with a Showcase Swamp. Yeah, not gonna lie, all our major hits have been on the left-hand side of the box. I don't know why. I just know... Where I'm going to be getting my booster packs from if I were to draft it, if I were to buy a Pux, Cultivate, and Fiery Emancipation. Two Mythic Rares on the left-hand side. That is so weird. And we also got Liliana, Waker of the Dead, Token. Those are usually really hard to find. Come on, come on. Okay, Siege Striker, Conclave Mentor, Wildwood Scourge, and Shacklegeist. Foil land? Not a foil. Showcase land, which is sad, but hey, I'll take foil land any day. Liliana Stewart, alternate art, and here we go. Let's start. Furious Rise, Torment's Crypt. Shipwreck Dowser and Showcase Gyrex Howbringer. Show Shake. Show Shake Gyrex Howbringer. Do da, do da. Tide Skimmer. Burlfist Oak. Twin Blade Assassin. And our rare is going to be Jorel Malbrough Recluse. One Vulu, I think that M is silent. Say it again in my last video, and I'll say it now. Really good card for cycling decks or anything with draw power. Okay, showcase. Here we go. Griffin Airy or Irie. Here we go. Hellfire Kite Punisher. Gorman, and our rare card is Azusa Lost But Seeking. Wow. 
This is our third booster box, but we've only gotten two Azusas so far. This is this being our second one. Hopefully she's not being short printed, but you never know. Okay, seasoned hollow blade. Fungal rebirth. Which is cauldron and our rare is Spark Hunt Massacre. Alright, that's all the booster packs from side number one. Time to go to side number two. Okay. Waker of Waves. Silver Smalt Ghoul. Fates Feeters. And a Brash Taunter as our rare. Turn to Nature Foil. Nothing too major. So far we've hit two Mythics pair box. Sanctum of Tranquil Light. Invigorating Surge. Ooh, Lydian is Devotee. That's some good sign. And our rare card is Volcanic Salvo. Come on, where are those mythic at? Where are the mythics at? Okay. Havoc Jester. Tavern Swindler. Watcher of the Spheres. And our rare card is... Kovrick the Spiteful. Along with a Hollow Canafe Stalker. Not gonna lie, this box is not off to a great start. Chrome Replicator, Chandra's Pyroling, Normal Art, Cultivate, Normal Art, and Vito Torn of Dusk Rose, Normal Art. I think in such a rare variety, this is the, the Vito Throne of Rose. It's currently the most popular card that's selling at the moment. Everyone seems to be wanting to get one of their copies. Unleash Fury, I can see why. Dryad and... <sighs> what? Okay. It took us three boxes. But this box gave us Teferi and Ugin. Wow. Okay. Now this is the monster box. This is what you want to see when you're cracking packs. This is the mutter load. There you go. Everything else, just bonus. Bonus. Oh, a Garrick token. I'll take that. If we can get a borderless Ugin, that just that's just being greedy. But I think we've gotten everything we wanted from this set now. The Wing Mare, the Goggle Master, Fierce Empath, and our rare card is a Fabled Passage, along with another Showcase Mountain. Just gotta organize all these uncommons before they destroy my lap. Alright, halfway through the box, and we're doing pretty well. Or are we? Yeah, I think we are. Okay, next one. Okay, okay. Let's see, we got Riddle Form, Kinetic Augur, Volcanic Geyser, and the rare is going to be a Primal Might, along with a Hollow Valley of Steed. Oh, I think I see a special card at the back of this. Okay, Angelic Ascension. Experimental Overload. Gary's Uprising, and the rare is... Barian Talorian Archmage. But, take a look at this. Another Showcase Cultivate. And a Showcase Land as well. Man, this is just popping. I think that's our fort, Cultivate. We have one in foil. 
And tree and normal, including that one. Sanctum of the Stone Fangs. Florian Kraken. Indulging Patrician. And Temple Epiphany, along with a showcase planes. Boom. What we got next? Okay, Palladian Mirror, Trashing Brontodon, Archfiend Vassal, and <sighs> Maze Mine Tome. Ooh, and a Foil Rare Containment Priest. Just a bunch of uh, kids and people not, uh, not adhering to the guidelines, but that's okay. Next pack. Let's see what we get here. Okay. Traitorous Greed, Light of Promise, Skyward Sniper, and our rare card is Hooded Blightfang, along with a Foil Basery Solidarity. Not gonna lie, Dead Touch Tribal sounds tempting. Might build around that idea. Okay, here we go. Falconer Adept, Entrawling Hold, Lore Scale Coltil, and our rare is Temple of Mystery. Well, I think we're pretty much sorted for when all the lands go out of rotation. Alright. Heartfire Emulator, Miscast, Candleface Stalker. Why are you not focusing on the correct thing? There we go. And our rare is Sublime Epiphany. I think this is our first one of this one. So it has five different variations that you can do, but it costs a lot of mana. I think it's the card that has 36 different options in it when you count for all the targets that it can cast or aim for. I think it's the second most popular card inside card market at the moment. Okay. Epitaph, Golem, So Seer, Conclave Mentor, and our rare is Temple of Maladi, along with a Sanguine Indulgence. And a showcase Island. Let's see what we got going on next. Okay, Bolt Hound, Jeskai Elder, Malphi Scythe, Feline Sovereign as the rare. Okay, we are on the last stack of trading cards. I don't think we can do any better than we already have. Seasoned Hollow Blade, Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest, Dire Fleet Warmonger, and a Jorel Mondwil Recluse. I don't think there's any more mythic cards to be had. We already have four hits inside this box. Five would be amazing. But I don't think we're going to be that lucky. Okay. Furious Rise. Meteorite. Bad deal. And the rare card is Glorious Anthem. Okay. Tide Skimmer. Garrick's Uprising. Twin Blade Assassins. And a Massacre Worm as our last mythic of the box, I think. Angelic Ascension. Oh, wow. Everyone needs more Massacre Worms inside their life. Look at that. All the creatures get minus 2-2, two, two, and then you can just blink them in of, out of existence. Giving everything minus 4-4 four, four into end of turn, which should be more than enough to destroy everything you need. And whenever a creature dies on your opponent's side, they lose 2 life. What's not to like about that? Sanctum of Shattered Heights. Torment's Crypt. Gormand. And Liliana's Standard Bearer. As the rare, we currently have 5 more booster packs left. 
Will this be a high-end booster box? It already is a high-end booster box, considering all the pulls that we've got. But a man can dream. Rain of Revelation. Burl, Fist, Oak. Leafkin, Avenger, and... Solemn Similocrum. As our rare. All right. Okay. Sir Remote's Ghoul. Tempered Veteran. Kite Cell Freebooter. And the rare is Transmogrify. <gasps> what? What? You guys see this? What is this box? Just what is this box? A grim tutor. Full art, borderless. That's insane. And a showcase lamp. Oh my god. Is this box for real? That is insane luck. I'll show you at all at the end, and we still have three booster packs left. Ah, here. There can't be any more than that. There cannot be more than not. Ward in the Woods. Obsessive Stitcher. And... Containment Priest, yeah? Two more booster packs. There's no way. There's no way there's anything better. Okay. Carrion Grub. Unleash Fury. Wildwood Scourge, and our rare is Spark Hunter Massacre. Last booster pack. No way that we pull that Grim Tutor. There's no way is that a thing. I have to double check that to see I'm not that I'm not asleep. Siege Striker, Battle Rattle Shaman, Witch's Cauldron. Animal Sanctuary as our rare, and a Foil Rewind. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We're just going to do a little recap on that box just there, because, my god, was that amazing. So we got a Full Art Grim Tutor. We got a Mythic Rare Massacre Worm. We got a full art, Cultivate. We've got a mythic rare, Ugin, the spirit dragon. We got a Teferi, master of time. And we got a fiery emancipation. That is just, oh my god. See, this is why you keep going until you reach what you want. <laughs> and somehow that kind of worked, I don't know how. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please be sure to leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this booster box. And please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, would like to hear more from you guys. And take care of yourselves. Until next time. See ya.